Get a photographer's legal kit for only $15 and find out why your files keep going offline or missing inside a Lightroom. I'm AJ Wood and this is episode number three of I Create Content. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on today's episode. If you caught Wednesday's show, then you learned 10 things users should know when working inside a Lightroom. Today's deal is brought to you by Jason Anderson, the host of the Learning Digital Photography Podcast and CanonBlogger.com. Jason's recently released his Photographer's Do-It-Yourself Legal Kit. Now this kit contains seven contracts that every photographer should have in their camera bag ready to go and use on a regular basis. You can check out this kit at uh, ajwood.com slash cbebooks. And if you decide that you want to purchase it, it retails for $30, but for a limited time, you can use the discount code DIY2011. You'll get half off. Get that kit for $15. bucks. All right, today we're going to take a look at Lightroom and talk about why your files keep going offline or missing. What happens when you see that series of question marks on your images or your folders? Let's go ahead and check it out. You can see that I'm inside the library module within Lightroom's interface. And if you look to the left, I'm in the folders list and I have a series of folders called Models, Photos, Portraits, and Toddler. Now one of the top reasons that images and folders go offline or missing is because Lightroom expects you to manage all your images and folders inside the Lightroom interface. If you use Windows Explorer or the Finder to rename files, move folders, delete things, they become disconnected because Lightroom can't see that change. So this is the proper way to rename a folder inside of Lightroom. I'm just going to right click on this folder called Models and I can choose Rename. And I'm just going to call this 2011 Texas Models. And now you can see that the file folder is renamed and in fact if I go into the develop module everything seems to be fine as I go through the images. But watch what happens when I take a look at the finder window. Here I am on my hard drive. The first thing I want you to notice, the folders are the same. So changes made in the folder list will be reflected on your hard drive. But watch what happens when I make a change outside of Lightroom. If I take that same folder that's just been renamed and I name it again but do it outside of Lightroom, now when I go back, look really close, there's a question mark on the folder. Now Lightroom doesn't know where that folder is. It doesn't know I renamed it, it just knows that it's missing. It can't find it. Could be deleted, could be moved. And in fact, if I pick an image and I go into the develop module, you'll notice the image now says offline or missing. So let's take a look at how you reconnect the folder. From within the Lightroom interface, I can right click on the folder and choose find missing folder. When I do this, Lightroom will take me to the last known location of the image or the folder. Here you can see I clearly renamed it. So I'll just grab the folder by the new name and hit choose. Now the folder's updated and if I go back into the develop module, I no longer have errors that files are missing. Okay, it takes a second to refresh. Let me just go through here. All right, now when I bring it up, hey, there we go. So it just takes a second to refresh. You can see the images are indeed reconnected. So you want to manage your files and folders from Lightroom's interface. I can easily fix that folder, right click on it, rename it. I'll change it back to models go back out to the hard drive and you can see there it is listed as models in the list. So this has been episode number three. My name's AJ Wood. As always, I appreciate you being here each week. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and more importantly, let me know what you'd like to see in the podcast. <clears throat> what software do you want to know about? Is it Photoshop? Is it Illustrator? Is it Lightroom? Is it Flash, After Effects? Leave me your comments and I will see you next week.